Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the British Mathematical Olympiad, second round, 1995, problem number 4. It has two parts. A. Determine, with careful explanation, how many ways 2n people can be paired off to form n teams of 2, and B. Prove that mn factorial squared is divisible by m factorial n plus 1, times n factorial to the power m plus 1 for all positive integers m and n. It's a nice combinatorics problem. Here, here are my hints. First, remember that the order of n groups does not matter in point A. And try to simplify your result as much as possible. And for the part B, show separately that m n factorial over m factorial n factorial to the power of m is an integer, and similarly the other fraction is an integer, and prove as a lemma the following identity of binomial coefficients. r choose k equals r over k times r minus 1 choose k minus 1. It holds for all positive integers k. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so let's start with part A. Part A. Well, how many ways can we form n teams of two? Well, for the first team, we have two n people and we need to choose two people for our first team. For the second team, we have 2n minus 2 people left, and we choose another 2. 2n minus 2 because 2 were already chosen, have been already chosen. Then we have 2n minus 4 choose 2, and so on, you probably see the pattern. 6 choose 2, for the penultimate team we have 4 people left, and we need to choose 2 people. And for the last team, we have to choose two people out of two. But remember that for multiplication, we implicitly assume that the order of teams does matter. But in fact, it doesn't. So we need to divide by the number of permutations of n teams. That is n factorial. So that's our result. I hope that my explanation was careful enough for, for this task. Uh, and now I wish to simplify my result. How to do it? Well, I will take 1 over n factorial in front and I wish to change every binomial coefficient into a fraction. So the first binomial coefficient is 2n factorial over 2 factorial 2n minus 2 factorial. The second one, it's 2n minus 2 factorial 2 factorial 2n minus 4 factorial. The third one, it's 2n minus 4 factorial 2 factorial 2n minus 6 factorial. And so on. The last three shall be 6 factorial, 2 factorial, 4 factorial, 4 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, 0 factorial. Very well. And now we can simplify it greatly by noticing that this and that is gone, this and that is gone, this and then term under our ellipsis is gone, this is gone, this as well, and this as well. So we are left with 2n factorial in the numerator and in the denominator we have n factorial 2 to the power of n because 2 factorial is just 2 and 0 factorial is 1. And that is our result. So our teams can be formed in this many ways. Very well. Now, part B. Part B. Part 
part B is much more interesting. And we will use the idea of part A, but backwards. So first, I wish to consider mn factorial over m factorial n factorial to the power of m. Notice the following, that I can write this very fraction in the following way. 1 over m factorial will be put in front, and now I have m n factorial n factorial m minus 1 times n factorial then I can introduce another fraction m minus 1 times n factorial n factorial m minus 2 times n factorial and so on and so on finally I will have 2n factorial n factorial n factorial n factorial n factorial 0 factorial very well is it really the same uh, as uh, this yes it is because i have 1 over factorial i have this i have 1 to if you are if you enumerate from 1 to m i have n factorial m times so it's n factorial to the power of m and that everything cancels, as in part A, but backwards. So everything is well. So everything is well. And now the magic happens. 1 over m factorial. Our fraction can be written as mn choose n. The second fraction can be written as m minus 1 n choose n and so on we have 2n choose n n choose n which is perfect and now now i will make use of the following fact observation let's write observation r choose k can be written as r over k r minus 1 choose k minus 1 for positive integers k. Let's prove my observation. Well, proof is very straightforward. Let's take the right hand side. Well, right hand side can be written as r over k. And here we have what is r minus 1 choose k minus 1. Well, it's just k minus 1 factorial, and in the numerator we have r minus 1, r minus 2, and so on. We should have exactly k minus 1 terms in our numerator. So we need to stop at r minus 1 plus k plus uh, plus how many plus uh, k minus one plus one yes is it right it probably no you know what no, no, no. let's let's write it as r minus one r minus two and so on we should have k minus 1 terms, so it's r minus k minus 1 over k minus 1 factorial. Now it's visible. Okay, and now we can combine everything like r, r minus 1, r minus 2, and so on, r minus k plus 1. And k times k minus 1 factorial is k factorial. And if you look closely, we have r, r terms in our numerator going from r step by step uh, by 1, descending by 1 over k factorial. It's exactly r plus k. And that closes the proof of my little observation. Which means that this result... This result right here can be written in the following way. 
1 over m factorial, and now mn choose n can be written as mn over n, mn minus 1, n minus 1. Our second uh, binomial coefficient can be written as m minus 1 over n times n over n, m minus 1 times n minus 1 choose n minus 1, and so on. The penultimate can be written as 2n over n, 2n minus 1 choose n minus 1, and the last one is n over n, n minus 1 choose n minus 1. And now let's take a look. What happens? Well, everywhere n is gone, because it appears both in the numerator and in the denominator, and what do we have? We have m, m minus 1, m minus 2, 2, and 1. It's m factorial. So m factorial is also gone, and we are left with just the following product. m n minus 1 choose n minus 1 m minus 1, n minus 1, choose n minus 1, and so on, to n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 1, which is clearly an integer. It's a positive integer. Very well. And to be honest, the same can be done the same can be done for, uh, for mn factorial over m factorial to the power of n times n factorial. It is also an integer. So we have an integer times an integer. So that means that means that, well, I'm running out of space, so let me put it a little bit higher, and that means that m n factorial squared, m n m factorial to the power n plus 1, n factorial to the power n plus 1 is also an integer, which was what we wanted, really. And that, sorry, and that closes our proof. Very nice problem from combinatorics. Pretty classical. I have seen this very problem in other places as well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.